Ciao Juventini of the world, my name is Giuseppe, welcome back on the channel, it is Thursday, Thursday of international break guys, the international break they are boring, I know we are all surfing on the beautiful wave of Euro 2020 with Italy that was champions of Euro, I'm still proud about that, I'm super happy and I have to say I'm also happy to see the Azzurri tonight on the field versus Bulgaria, but I wanted our black and white stripe boys on the field more than ever, yes, if we... If you want to talk about them, we can, because there are a lot of things that we can say about Juventus, of course. But if you want to see them again on the pitch, we'll have to wait until the 11th of September. Because yesterday, the anticipation and the postponement of the game until the 19th game day of Serie A were revealed. We will speak about that. We will speak about the Champions League Juventus women, but also about the list of the players, who's in, who's out, and then towards the end of the video, Mercato Secret, something that could have happened, Ramsey out of Juve, a new player in, it didn't happen, I will explain you why, according to that particular rumor, but first, before starting, don't forget to put a maximum of like, if you want to, if you don't want to, like my great friend Adrian Vam from Rabona TV, he's saying, you can also use the dislike button, that's up to you, we start, subscribe to the video, Corriere dello Sport. Corriere dello Sport is speaking only about the Italian national team, Quelli di Wembley, the ones of Wembley, because we will see the champions again back on the field. I told you, super happy also to see our Juventus players, if they will play yes or no tonight, but... Uh, it's a mixed feeling eh, because I would have preferred absolutely to see our Juventus team. It is what it is. Gazzetta dello Sport. Largo ai campioni. Make space for the champions of Euro 2020. We will see them again. But they are also speaking about uh, Paolo Di Bala. On the left side they are saying Paolo Di Bala firmi con un um, punto interrogativo, that means a question mark. Paolo Di Bala, will you sign yes or no? It's not because Paolo Di Bala is not at La Continasa, he traveled to Argentina to play with his national team, it's not because of that that the negotiation will not uh, will stop. Giorgio Antun is still in Torino, he will negotiate with Juventus to speak about the extension of Di Bala. When will that happen? Hmm. Prediction, September. I hope that you can really be tackled really soon that so that we can have our number 10 that is focused 100% of the field we'll continue to be speak about that in the coming days but who will play tonight predictions of Sky Sport are saying that only Bonucci and Federico Chiesa will start tonight versus Bulgaria so no space at the moment for Kin, Locatelli, Bernardeschi, Chiellini we will have to wait also for them it's a prediction then let's see let's see and follow the up Champions League Champions League is back at least for Juventus women that yesterday was able to win 2-0 with goals of Girelli and Hurtig. Guys, this is really historic because we are one game away of qualifying for the group stage of the Women Champions League, something that Juventus women never achieved in their uh, short history. They can do it. And we started with a beautiful 2-0 at home, one game. One game, I really hope and support the Juventus team so that they can make something really historic. And now let's speak about the Champions League of the men because yesterday the list came out where they are all um, there all the players are there except of two players Caio Giorgio 19 years he will not be part of that first Champions League list you know that uh, after the group stages we can modify them we can edit and change the players but at the moment he will not be able to participate to the first six games of Champions League Pellegrini that was actually about to leave Juventus at the end he stayed, also him will be out of the Champions League. The big surprise, who's the big surprise? It is Arthur, why? Because Arthur is actually recovering more faster than we were thinking. We were thinking that he would be back around end of November. Maybe, maybe if everything is going well, he can even be there around mid-October, end of October. And that's why Juventus really put him uh, into the Champions League list. Uh, something more about that? Yes, absolutely. We finally know the secret of the number of Moise Keen. It will not be the number 7 that Cristiano Ronaldo left, it will be the number 18, his old number. Moise Keen with the 18, you can already start buying his shirt if you really believe in him, as Juventus is doing. Arthur Vadikorsa, I told you, Arthur is running, not on the field yet, but he will start gradually because he's doing actually better than what you are thinking. Arthur will be a jolly. I saw a lot of uh, lineups. How can Juventus play? 
a lot of time we are actually underestimating Arthur and the importance that he can have in that field is someone that really can keep the ball some, something that we really need at Juventus at the moment someone who is not stressing under pressure Arthur the Brazilian 25 years old player can be a jolly I can't wait to see him and to see also how Massimiliano Allegri will use him because he has a lot of things to, to do we are speaking now about the secret of Mercato Ruben Neves could have been a player of Juventus every Everything was done with him. The contract was uh, nearly ready because they spoke about 4.5 million salary plus bonus for the player. Uh, Ramsey towards Wolverhampton plus 15 million for the English team. Unfortunately, last minute Ramsey said no. No, he only wanted to move to Arsenal. It is what it is, guys. I don't... I don't know if it's a 100% true um, news, yes or no, but according to that rumor, it is what it is. Tutto Sports, what is Tutto Sports saying? Allegri, pensaci tu. Allegri, you will have to think about it. About what? Eh? About Juventus, because we can't hide that at the moment after the two first game, everything is perfect. No. We can't hide the fact that we have some problems. So Allegri will have to think about it. Apparently some rumors are saying that Juventus is not, uh, or that Allegri was not 100% happy with the Mercato, like I believe 99.9% .9 of the supporters. Correct, correct. He wanted a striker or more. He wanted a midfielder more, like a Pjanic. Juventus decided not to go in panic mode. Wait, let's see what we can do in January and especially in 2022. This year will be the year of the rebuild. Confirmed fixture, as I told you a problem for Juventus because the game versus Napoli that should have been played on Sunday has been anticipated because then there is the Champions League has been anticipated to 6 p.m. Italian time of the 11th of September guys that can be a problem because we will miss all the South American players and McKenny. we already talked about it drama if you want to travel to Torino you can already uh, start planning your trip because all the games until the 19th uh, game day are there Juventus problems make Inter favorite to win Serie A claims former coach so we have Andrea Stramaccioni ex-coach of Roma ex-coach of Inter he said that now with all the problems of Juventus Inter is favorite I, I said my top four in a previous video Juventus Inter Napoli Roma that's my top four what do you think are you uh, agreeing with uh, Andrea Stramaccioni that Inter is the favorite yes or no one thing is sure we don't have the pressure to win it's a beautiful year to actually build and we will build also with Locatelli but uh, uh, there is Massimo Pavan that is always writing, he's probably the director of Tutto Juve, he said that with the Mercato, Juventus became actually weaker than it was. Tell me your opinion, I'm curious, do, is Juventus actually weaker than we were before the Mercato? We lost Cristiano Ronaldo, we took Keane, we have a Locatelli more, maybe an Arthur at a full form from uh, end of October, let me know your opinion. And then we finish with the last news guys, Una Juve in Bilico, attacco da capire. Uh, Juventus that is actually not 100% solid and sure, we have to understand a lot of things, especially in the attack, because we have great players there, absolutely yes, a lot of potentials, young players like Caio Giorgio, Moise Skin, Federico Chiesa, a lot of young players, but the only one that was able to score more than 20 goals, it was Paolo Dybala in the season 17-18. Will that be enough? And how would you play? I'm asking you a lot of comments, guys, today, but I'm really curious to see what your opinion is about that new Juventus that will start again to play on the field on the 11th of September. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the short video, but still a lot of news, a lot of points of reflection. As I told you, maximum of like want to use the, the dislike button up to you subscribe to the channel grazie forza juve